Richard Andrews scored a brace as Excelsior High defeated Campion College 3-1, handing Campion their first loss of the season to finish top of Group F, Group F in the Issa da Costa Cup. Andrews got Excelsior going, converting his chance in the 35th minute. Excelsior picked up this in the second half where they left off in the first as Lennon Green got his name on the score sheet, scoring in the 52nd minute. Andrews then scored his brace in the 68th. Campion got a consolation in the 61st minute through Theory Johnson. It was a good, a good performance. We, we, there's still some areas that we have to work on. Um, we're still creating quite a number of opportunities, but our conversion rate is, is, is not where we want it to be. But we continue to work. They are young. Um, and I mean, they continue to make the necessary adjustment. Um, Campion a very stubborn team, of course, as you see. But I think we did enough today to, to, to break them down. Both teams really trying to go for it, I believe. Um, some sloppy mistakes led to some good finishing, I believe, from um, Excelsior. Some things that we can learn from to move into the next round. Um, Paul of the boys kept fighting towards the end, um, but definitely some things to go back to the drawing board to fix. And Group C leaders Charlie Smith ended their first round with a win as they blanked Vauxhall High 2-0 at the Tony Spaulding Sports Complex. Raquan Stoney con continued his good form and broke the deadlock for the Kingston-based school in the 24th minute, which gave them an advantage heading into halftime. The game went out of Vauxhall's reach as Daniel Clark put the ball into the back of the net five minutes into the second half. Well, the performance it was just for not to lose, not to lose, going over momentum going into the second round. In the other games, Tivoli Gardens brushed aside Bridgeport High 5 0. Haile Selassie and Edith Dalton James played out an ill all draw, while Kingston Technical outscored Cumberland High 3 2.